Exam Scholar, Real Estate Edition. Question 1. What is used to convey title to items sold in a business? A. A deed. B. A bill of sale. C. A title of trust. D. A receipt. Answer. B. In conducting a transaction in a business, a seller legally conveys title to an item with a bill of sale. In this case, the correct answer is bill of sale as it is most correct. Question 2. What is sales tax considered? A. A tax on any property sold. B. A tax on anything sold. C. A tax on tangible personal property. D. A tax on income. Answer. C. Sales tax is a tax on tangible personal property. Typically sales tax is not charged on electronic media products, delivery of products, and other related items. Question 3. If a broker obtains an exclusive listing, the broker can be reimbursed for expenses when? A. There is an expense that was unforeseen by either party. B. There is more advertising that needs to be done. C. It is authorized by the seller. D. None of these. Answer. C. Expenses that a broker accrues are normally not reimbursable unless specifically authorized by the seller. Question 4. In the exercise of police power, which of these is not related? A. Public health. B. Safety. C. Compensation. D. Morals. Answer. C. Compensation need not be paid in the exercise of police power. It is to be used by the state for the public health, safety, morals, and general welfare of the people. Question 5. A series of ordinances enacted by a state or local governmental entity, establishing minimum requirements that must be met in the construction and maintenance of buildings is best known as A. Zoning B. Building codes C. County building laws D. Eminent domain Answer B. Minimum requirements that must be met in the construction and maintenance of buildings that are ordinances enacted by the state or local government is best known as building codes. Question 6. An offer has been accepted by the buyer and the seller. The buyer and seller instruct the broker to return the deposit money to the seller. The broker. A. Must return the deposit money but can sue for the commission. B can refuse to return the deposit money because the deal has closed. C. Has the option to sue for a commission or return the deposit money. D. Can choose to do as he or she wishes. Answer. A. A. The broker is this type of circumstance must return the deposit money if instructed to do so by the seller. However, the broker can choose to sue for any commission money due if needed. Question 7. If another offer is introduced to an agent on the sale of a home, the agent A. Must submit the offer to the seller immediately. B. Should wait to have a response from the seller on the first offer. C. Must notify the prospective buyer that there is another offer already in place. D. None of these. Answer all offers on a property for sale must be submitted to a seller immediately. Question 8. If a note is sold for less than the face value, this is known as A. Percentage note B. Discounting the note C. Note sales fraud D. None of these Answer B. Any time a note is sold for less than its face value, this is known as discounting the note. 
Question 9. A person that can obtain funds for a purchase of property is known as A. A true buyer B. An able buyer C. A slam dunk D. Pre-qualified Answer B. In this case, the correct answer is able buyer. In some cases, if the buyer has already gone to a lender and the lender has verified everything is okay to make a loan, this would be called pre-qualified. Even if a buyer is pre-qualified, however, there still can be issues that can cause a deal to fall through. Question 10. Under a trustee's power of sale, the right to foreclose a trust deed expires. A. In three years. B. In five years. C. In seven years. D. Never. Answer. D. The right to foreclose on a trust deed under a trustee's power of sale never expires. A trust deed is not a contract but a conveyance of title. Exam Scholar, Real Estate Edition.